Another thing that the alignment does extremely well is help you align your rib fence properly. Most of us either want our fences perfectly parallel to the blade, others, like myself, like it a little bit open. All you do to align your fence, bring it in, lock it at a certain point, okay? Come as close to the front as you possibly can. Now make sure you've got those spring plungers both in the groove. And again, you rotate the dial and get yourself a good zero. Okay? Lower your blade. And as you move that dial indicator along, it's going to show you exactly how much you're in or out with your fence. Now again, if the reading goes positive above the zero, then your fence is kicked in on the backside. This means as you cut, you're going to cut on the front, cut on the back. That, that blade is going to try to pick that board up and throw it at you. You want to make sure you either have that fence parallel, where you're zeroed both directions, or you want that needle to go about 10,000 under on the back side. That way you've got clearance on that back tooth, and this greatly reduces the chance of burns and kickback while you use your fence.